this is Laura from LiveVisions.com and I wanted to give you some information on the true nodes today. And what is a true node? It's where you need to go in your life, where you're, um, what you're meant to, where you're meant to go, where you're meant to carry out in life, depending on the house it's in and depending on the sign it's in. So I'm going to be going through all the, the North Node information and the signs that they're in that should help you out. But I want you to know that when you, when you watch these videos, Watch, read, um, watch the video for um, the house it's in and then watch the video for the sign it's in because that's going to give you another meaning. So you're going to have to combine them a little bit, okay? So I'm going to give you an example. My north node is in the fifth house, okay? And it's in Capricorn. Well, the fifth house represents Leo, okay? So what this means is, you know, I'm meant to do something creative in my life and I may be known for it, but it also means that I'm going to do this independently. Like, I'm not going to count on anybody else because Capricorn is like, you're doing it by yourself, you know? Um, so, and Capricorn is also very serious, you know? It, it would mean that, you know, I would want to do something and the, the, what I find fun can be quite serious and, you know, job-like. You know, I could probably find fun in a job or something. But, you know, it depends, you know, where this is in, you know, and you have to look at the ruler to your fifth house, too, and find where that's in. So, like, my fifth house, you know, is Capricorn, so that shows that could have kids, not at all, or later in life. And then it also shows, and then I'm looking, okay, well, if I'm supposed to do something creative in life, well, what is it in? Well, the ruler to my fifth house is in the tenth. It's in, it's in the Saturn's in my tenth. So it says that I would be doing something in my career that would be that would make me known for something. So um, that's just a little. And, and let's say you have your North Node in or in the fifth house, but it's in a different sign, like um, Libra. You know, you're going to be creative probably with a partner, and you got to find the, the 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 where Venus is to give you more information on a partner doing what. You know, so you, you got to look at that. Or if the ruler to your fifth house is also in the fifth house, then maybe you'll be known for children. Something, you, maybe you're going to have gifted kids. Anyway, this is just a little spin on it. And I just wanted to let you know that you, there's more than just the house placement. You got to look at the sign too. So you'll probably be watching two videos for this. All right, well, this is a little intro and I hope you kind of understand where I'm going with this. If you have questions, just put them below. I will try to get back to you. Um, I, I also work and do reading, so I can do what I can, you know. Anyway, I hope this is helpful for you, and here come the videos. Hi, this is Laura from LiveVisions.com, and I wanted to give you a video today on what it's like to have your North Node in the 8th house or in Scorpio. The North Node is also known as True Node, or in Vedic Astrology, it's known as Rahu. What does this mean if you have this placement in, in the 8th house? Well, or in Scorpio. It means that in this life, you're working toward becoming more intense with your feelings and sharing with others. Uh, in a past life, you could have been consumed with earning money having possessions, um, you know, collecting valuables, you know, um, you could have been overly concerned with, um, you know, wealth. I would say in this life, because of this in a past life, you're probably a really good saver naturally. Um, in this life, you could be, um, have a propensity toward, I want to say, being a little bit less, being a little cold to a partner, you know, being not really open emotionally. And that's what you're working on. You're working on more of a um, scorpion kind of energy where you're more intense, you, you feel deeply, you know, you're, you're getting there, you know. Your goal is to have a very deep connection. And which brings me to sex. Um, if you have your north node in the eighth house, you could have quite the sex drive, you know. Um, what else? If you you also may have an interest in your other your partner's finances, you may want to help your partner um, achieve more money financially, or you just may be you know all about 
for money, you know. <clears throat> North Node is what you're working toward in this life and what your um, ambition is, you know. Um, and in a past life, it looks like your ambition was making money. Making money, being successful, saving money, being resourceful. Um, you could be rather stubborn in this life too. Like uh, maybe a partner talks to you about what she's feeling or he's feeling. And maybe, you know, you can't feel that because, you know, this, this isn't uh, that way. Or you may not, um, I want to say, you may not be very, you could be rather cold as far as emotionally and, and, and you know, and, and, and giving your opinion about their feelings or being like, because remember, your whole goal is being more intense. So you could come off really matter of fact, you know, um, you could come off, you know, less emotionally. I don't want to say attached, but I want to say you keep your feelings to yourself, to your chest. You know, you need to practice on work on opening up to your partner becoming more clear on your feelings and, and the universe is backing you in this, you know? So wherever your true note is, the universe is gonna help you along, you know? And so you're um, working on becoming more, becoming more open to emotions and feeling, you know, receptive to this other person and not being so selfish, you know? In a past life, you could have been really selfish with your resources and your money. And, you know, you need to, you in this life need to help the partner or others, you know, maybe in this life, you may, something dropped, it scared you, you know what I mean, um, maybe in this life, you um, may donate some money to a charitable cause, or maybe you're going to help your partner through school, or maybe um, you're going to help your partner in career, you know, you're, you're looking to become, working on helping others, okay, eighth house has to do with other people's finances, so, you could help other people through their finances. You could be, uh, maybe you're uh, a banker and you're helping people invest, you know. Um, it could play out that way too. So, but you're working on becoming more, I want to say, intense, maybe charitable, giving. Um, in a past life, you could have been all about yourself and about your possessions and what you have and not really, you know, you know, I, I want to say you could have been maybe obsessed with things, you know, you could have been just totally, you know, in this life, maybe too, you could be one of those hoarder types, you know, like you just want to collect possessions and you just want stuff. And this life is probably, you know, helping you let that go, you know, that's just stuff, you know, and maybe you're going to donate some of that stuff to charity that you're collecting and it's making your house all cluttered. That could be it too. There's many ways this could play out in the eighth house, but I will say one thing that's totally true is you could have a very high sex drive. Um, you would probably be a very good saver. Um, you would probably be working on how to invest your money. Okay, you could invest, help other people invest their money too. Um, you could help a partner save money, you know, because you're good at it automatically. So those are just a few ways this could play out in your life. Um, but if you would like to know um, more information or take classes, shall I say, on um, basic astrology or aspects, the links are below. Also, um, I noticed I did some changes on my website. You guys look confused. Um, I, I know that, you know, for a natal reading, it's $120. But a lot of people opted this last week for Ask the Astrologer, and it's $25 a question. So... Um, some people didn't know how to do the form. Some people didn't know where to pay on PayPal. You know, and it's pretty self-explanatory, but I made it even simpler now where, you know, you, you do the PayPal first and then you fill out the form. And the form, make sure you use the same email address that you use for PayPal because I'm going to match those up. So whatever email address you use for PayPal, make sure it's the same on the form. Make sure you write down the name of the service that you're buying on the form and your birth information and followed by your question. So I've made it totally where there's no confusion. So anyway, if um, next week, I, I'm decided to do videos now every maybe two weeks because every week doing 12 videos was a lot and I work too, I, I take do readings and everything else. So um, it was just too much. So maybe every two weeks you'll, you'll get like 12 videos every two weeks. 
if not one, 12 a month, but I'm not, I'm going to see how busy I am. The next videos I think that I'm going to do are maybe Saturn or Jupiter. We'll, we're going to decide. I don't know yet. Anyway, I hope this helps you out. And as always, I'm glad. Um, vote. Let me know what you think of the videos. And I'm, I'm really happy that you're watching. Thank you so much. Bye.